Hi there! This is a review for my third handmade corset. Here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. This corset has a center front of 11 and 1 4 inches. The shortest amount on the side is 8 inches and the back length is 10 inches. This is a very curvy corset that is also very comfortable. It is 20 inches and it is made from a six panel pattern. It's hard to see where the panels are, but I drafted the pa or I drafted the pa pattern myself and I'll put a link up to the website where I got the information for for that. This is a three layer corset. It has on the outside this beautiful blue satin taffeta and because it's a satin it is very wrinkly but I think that makes it it's still very pretty. Um, it is <clears throat> the outside layer is roll pinned to the same material I have for the lining which is a blue cotton tulle. It's a similar blue but not the same. And then obviously the inside is blue cotton twill. The busk is a half inch wide and it is very flexible. Um, and because it's that flexible I put a, a flat steel bone next to it. There are six total flat steel bones in this corset. Obviously the one sandwiching the grommets back here. There are a total of 24 bones in this corset and so that makes 18 spiral steels total. Um, the corset is double boned on each seam, which is hard to see except for this first one here. There wasn't enough room when I got to the bottom to make it double boned. I used the sandwiching technique so you end up seeing the boning channels and the waist tape. Um, and next time I want to do a floating liner so that will mean that you won't see any of this and it will just be very neat on the inside. Um, the waist tape is still technically invisible even though you can totally see it but that means it's not on the outside. It's sandwiched in there. I also did the stitch in the ditch technique and looks pretty neat from the outside and the inside to me I can see it but not on the camera it looks like a disaster but it works <laughs> um, there are 18 total grommets and they have very few splits only like maybe three or four of them have a split in them the laces are black again and they are stretchy they're nylon and they're very long I'm thinking about buying some matching um, blue ribbon to put in instead of these laces just to complete the look. Um, the bias tape I made myself this time out of the same outside material so you have to get a bias tape maker to make it. Um, it didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped just it looks okay but to me I, I wish I would have left more um, seam allowance room because I ended up having to stitch really close to the bones at the top and the bottom and then it ended up being kind of sloppy um, down here like I might have to pin that in and like sew that up or something because that doesn't look nice to me the, um, I also want to add, not add, um, for my next corset project I want to do a modesty panel, like a floating one, and oh, also the boning channels, to me, some of them are not that even, and with practice I'm sure I will make more even boning channels, like on the back here. 
Eh, you can't really see, but this one's like much skinnier than this one's. But it, so this one barely fits the bone in it. Um, and that's just something that I need to work on. And this is only my third corset, and I have at least two or three more corset projects that I plan to do in the future. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you can write them in the comments for me. And thanks for watching.